guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you Live Link. It's a game on Desora, but it's also on Steam Greenlight, so make sure to check it out. Um, it's basically a survival game. You just run around and kill zombies, but it's not totally mindless. I mean, there's some strategy to it. Um, today we're just going to be playing easy. Just want to show you guys it. And there's uh, three maps so far. Uh, Crash Wood, Space Station, and South Frost Station. Um, let's go with Crash Woods this time. And it does remind me a bit of uh, Call of Duty Zombies, but just... I'll show you guys later. So you come in out of this teleporter here, and you're just in this wooded area. I mean, this is, that's all you know. And, um... As you can see, there's guns on certain walls. I think... Oh, glitch there. Over here, there's a gun on that wall. There's debris everywhere, and, um... You can... I mean, there's guns on the wall, so... Yeah. Okay, let me adjust my sense. Now I'll tell you about these alien guys. These little guys, they are pretty much suicide bombers. Because all they do is run at you and explode. And they are annoying. And you'll see them really do some damage later on. Because, ugh, they're just so annoying. But, you start off with a pistol, and the little exploder guys come. And then you see these guys, these tall guys that just come up and whack you with their, I guess, big claws. <laughs> yeah, they get pretty annoying too. They sneak up behind you a lot and just whack you. It's just like, oh! But they're easy enough to kill on way two. But yeah, um... Honestly, I would say this is the smallest map. Um, I mean, it's just basically a big circle. You see, like, over there, you think you can go over there, but it's a spawn point for the aliens. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he stuck up on me. Uh, yeah, they're just spawn points. So you can't go in them, but the, the maps are interactive um, like right there oh, snuck up on me uh, there's little red barrels on the ground like right there that explode and I'll try that right now oh no oh, didn't get it all right see they really do sneak up on you and you do have a grenade which is oh yeah grenades are pretty awesome <laughs> yeah so the, I'll show you guys those soon. You could just shoot them and they explode. They also have this. Um, this will help you replenish your grenades and ammo. Um, but also when you have enough uh, points, you can buy upgrades. And basically they're just sprint, longer life, better grenades, uh, more grenades capacity. Stronger bullets, more bullets. And this is teleports you to the nearest live link port once you one be one before death. So that's pretty nice. And this is carry up to three up. I think I might go with that one once I save up enough. And this is drastically increases her overall melee damage. So we'll see how we use those. And some of you might like that they do have this kind of mystery box. And let me use it here see what I get. Ooh, alright. Very nice. I don't really know the names of the guns very well, but I know this one kicks ass, so we're I'm pretty lucky. I mean, I know it's only way four, but Any gun would 
kick ass on wave four, but later, all the, you know, bullets coming out of this thing, it would really help it. But yeah, I mean, the map is a little small. I admit that. But, I mean, I'm not sure, so don't quote me, but I think a team of about maybe three to five people made this. I don't, I'm not sure, but, I mean, dang, I mean, the sounds, when you sprint, you can hear yourself, you're, you can see hands, the textures on the guns aren't the best. I mean, you're not looking at the gun, you're looking at the things trying to kill you, so that makes sense. This is kind of your main point. This does not heal you. Your little red bar up there is your health. It does regenerate, so it wouldn't really need to heal you. But you level up, and then you eventually get more credits. So I'm gonna hit this again. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the end of round five. Okay, no more pistol. Now, oh, okay. Now I want to show you these guys. These guys have god awful aim, but like as you see, they can't shoot their shit. But um, okay, maybe they can. <laughs> but they are so annoying because they're trying to. Alright, move. Um, when you're trying to kill these little suicide bomber guys and these tall guys, you just hear them shooting and shooting and shooting and then move. And, uh, oh, you just want to kill them as fast as you can. Trust me. It's ridiculous how annoying they are. But yeah. Um,. So we have a total of three aliens. I guess I can, I'll call them aliens. We have a total of three aliens so far, but there will be more. I'll show you guys. Ooh, all right. The sunflower. All right. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I have no clue what this does. <laughs> I have never gotten this before, honestly. So let's test it on this guy. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, I think I like this gun. Yeah, okay, I like this gun. <laughs> I got a really good set here. I'm just gonna call this an SMG. But, oh, I also wanted to talk about, uh, people that developed this game. Um, they made this game, but they, they're also making uh, a game called Stranded Deep, and they made it on the Unity engine, and um, it looks amazing. The graphics look amazing, the story, the interactive maps and stuff, it just, it, oh, perfect, it, I mean, definitely check it out. I th it's definitely greenlit, but not released yet, because obviously they're still working on it, but it looks so nice. So please, guys, check it out. Check their, uh, check their company out. Check this game out. I mean, today I'm not going to be showing you all the, all the ways up to 20. This is just to show you the game. And, um, you can expect more videos of uh, the different maps and the different guns coming up. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.